All right, guys, so what we're going to do here is we've spent a little bit of time over the last few days with the 5100i, specifically the 5702 and the 5703 um, cameras. Um, we've done a lot with the IVA Pro Building Spec, but I think it's important that we cover some of the um, image performance. And, and what we have is um, some just eight clips of example um, situations or scenes that we're going to go through. Um, so the first one's going to be um, uh, a test about for WDR, and, and essentially what that is is we're going to be looking at a doorway, and we're going to have someone enter in, and it's going to be bright on the outside. We're going to see what kind of image clarity we get on from outside. Is it a silhouette, or is it someone that we can make out as they enter? Um, those kinds of things. Next, we're going to go into... Um, which is kind of a feature more than mm -hmm. image performance, but it's, it still goes hand in hand, I think. It's uh, electronic image stabil stabilization, where we put the camera on a shaker and uh, we were able to gauge what that looked like. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about mm -hmm. that when we see it. But um, next, what we'll do is kind of a general um, building surveillance in a lobby area. Mm -hmm. Um, which is going to capture a doorway. We'll have people going in and out, just kind of give you an idea what that looks like. Um, next, we'll go into an indoor IR mode. That uh, it, it's we situated the the camera into a room, completely turned off the lights, mm -hmm. and flipped on the IRs, and we just wanted to see what that looked like. Um, next, after that, is we're going to take that nighttime IR into the parking lot, right? And we're going to see what, what the Cali camera did out there, or the cameras, I should say. Um, and then uh, after that, we're going to do kind of keep it in the same area, parking lot, or we're going to have the lights on. Um, and then we're going to wrap that up with the courtyard view, um, and uh, which is low light still, right? And we're going to see how the, how the images look. Uh, in that situation. So Joe, um, I guess let's hop right into the WDR and mm -hmm. give them a, a look at what this does. Yep, so we'll look at, uh, as Brad said, wide dynamic range performance of these cameras. Uh, I'll stop it right there. See as Steve opened the door, a lot of bright light mm -hmm. came into the scene and the camera had to quickly adjust to compensate for all that bright light. And you'll see that this camera does very well, that if I zoom in on, on one of these digitally, you can make out that that is Steve coming through that doorway. Um, so, guys, what, well, sorry to cut you off, no, Joe, but what, what could happen if, we just ha if, if it didn't perform the way it did, um, and we opened that door and it was really bright outside? What are some things that could happen? Yeah, I mean, the inside video or inside performance will get either really dark, uh, and then the outside typically will get really bright. So you get that situation where neither of them are very usable or as the person comes through, they're just a dark silhouette. And mm. again, very, very uh, little uh, identifying features of that person when that happens. And, gotcha. and I think an important thing to note is we've, we tested this with a bunch of different cameras today. Mm -hmm. And even though they were all the same or very similar WDR ratings, this really goes beyond the data sheet of showing the true performance versus just looking at a value on a data sheet yeah. and saying one camera is better than the other because what we found out today, that, that's not true. And the yeah. 5100i FlexiDome stood its own yeah. mid-tier yes, camera, very well. stood mm -hmm. its own very well against the high-end, um, high-tier cameras. Yeah, and I think there's plenty of applications out there that you have entrances into lobbies or that are glass, right? And there's oh, yeah. and it's it's bright, sunny days out and there's I mean, we've all seen that, like you said, oh, yeah. is it's really bright outside, and mm -hmm. if the camera's not capable, you get a silhouette, and you can't identify the individual. Uh -huh. nope. Or ver vice versa. You can identify the individual, but you can't see Everything, anything outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this, this, I think, really brings them and blends them, those two things together really well. Yep. So I'll, I'll keep playing the clip, and you can see, as Brad said, you can see outside that door. Mm -hmm. There's a vehicle outside, and the camera's actually classifying that vehicle that's outside mm -hmm. the door. So that, that is very impressive. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and let's jump into the electronic image stabilization here and kind of go through what, what we had set mm -hmm. up. Yep, sure. So the camera you'll see to the left has electronic image stabilization on, and the camera to the right has that mode off. Uh, we have the camera set up on a shaker table, 
and the shaker table is moving, it's it going through a bunch of different modes. So you'll see it turn off, you'll see it shake more, and then even more, a higher mode, uh, where you'll, you'll see both the cameras shaking, but the camera that has EIS on is handling that movement uh, tremendously compared to the camera with the mode off. One of the things to keep in mind is, as you watch this video, a lot of people just don't realize how much the object that they're mounting their camera on will move in these general surveillance type applications. Uh, parking garages are a big thing, right? Where as vehicles are moving on different tiers of the parking garage, the parking garage is vibrating. People will mount it to a, a fence or a pole or many other objects and you'll see that um, those are vibrating or moving in the wind, a light pole, whatever. Uh, this is a great example of how that affects the image and then what the uh, electronic image stabilization will do and allow the camera to be able to create a pretty re reasonably decent picture yeah. with the with that shaking and that vibration. Yeah, and again, you know, there's so many different opportunities uh, where anybody who wanted image stabilization before had to buy a high-end camera or a pan, tilt, and zoom camera where now you have a mid-range camera that has the image stabilization built into it. Um, again, just putting on a pole, as you said, a parking garage, you know, any type of structures where, again, you know, uh, vehicles are running through them or anything like that. It's, it's a constant shake mm -hmm. and, um, you know, it's really tough to get good usable information, you know, from that. And, and this video shows it. And it's not just image performance to worry about, right? When the camera's shaking, Oh, bit rate goes through the roof, and yep. that's something that a lot of people do not account for. Yeah. Well, I think, like Steve said, a lot of times they don't know this is going to be an issue before mm -hmm. you know the camera's mm -hmm. installed, and you know, thankfully, the, the, this feature is inside this, this yep. camera, and and they can make use of that so that they can counteract those those certain anomalies mm -hmm. out in the in the field. One or two things for sure when the when they go to play the video back and they realize that they can't see what they're looking for <laughs> yeah. because the image is jumping all over. Second thing is, if they've got a, an officer who's watching the camera or somebody watching the camera inside the building, it's going to drive them crazy. Oh, so yeah. this, again, <laughs> this is a really nice feature to add to this camera. Absolutely. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at the lobby scene that we have here. And Joe, I know that you kind of really wanted to highlight this as an application and kind of walk us through that whole thing. Yeah, so I mean, this camera being a, you know, a mid-priced product is great for that general surveillance. Uh, so we just wanted to put this camera in an application that we come across a lot, which is a, a lobby entrance, right? You, you want to know who's coming in and out of your building. And on top of that, this camera has great analytics that we talked about and that the scene kind of shows all of that, right? The, it's got everything together. It's got WDR performance, analytic, and then a great general overview shot of a, a commercial lobby. Yeah, and I think it highlights a lot of things. I mean, you got, look at the carpet by the door. Um, it's seeing outside that door. I think that door is pretty tinted, I mean, mm -hmm. it, from what I remember. And I mean, it's seeing individuals outside of that and being able to classify them. So um, I think it hits a lot of application variables in one device. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we can move on to the next video, which is uh, place the cameras indoor into a closet, close the door so it's completely uh, black, and we turn the IR on to see the, the performance of these new uh, IR emitters on these cameras. Now, Joe, everybody has, or someone offers <laughs> IR on their cameras. What's, what's so important here? Like, why does this matter? So these uh, new cameras offer intelligent IR, and the great thing about that is uh, as an object um, takes over the scene or comes close to the camera, it actually adjusts the IR intensity. So you can see in the scene right here, I'm three feet away from the imager, and you can tell that that's me in the field of view. It's not washing out my face. And another important thing to bring up is the, the box to the left of me is a white box with black lettering on it, and you can clearly read um, everything on that box there. Yeah, and I think that was important when Steve pointed that out that, you know, a lot of times what you'll have is you'll have an intensity, IR intensity level yep. so high that'll end up just being washed out. I mean, the box yeah. is probably white, 
right? And yeah. so it'd be difficult to read anything the, on that. The cool thing with this is the, the camera can make a picture through the varying distances mm -hmm. from the objects all the way to the back of that room. You can still see the details of all the objects very clearly in the image mm -hmm. and not at any point in time through Joe's movement in that room does the image bloom out or mm -hmm. have any variance in the quality of the image because of lighting variances mm -hmm. on him as he's moving or as you guys have said the boxes and the packages in that room so it was interesting you can see the IR obviously Joe was pointing out that as, as he was moving around the IR um, light that he could see coming out of the the um, individual illuminator LEDs actually varied. You could watch it, and, and mm. again, if you're looking at the image, nothing varies with the quality mm -hmm. of the image. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty like you were saying, somewhere it was dimming or it was getting more yep. intense as right. it, yep. as yep. it as you went through. That's a good point, Steve. And one thing just to clarify, the IR emitters on this camera, when we're talking about IR light, it's a very faint uh, pink color coming off that camera. It's almost like the a, a red light on a camera that's showing that it's recording. Right, right? that little mm -hmm. dim individual light of the LED. And again, we know what we're looking for, so. Uh, we'll move on to the next uh, video that we have, which is the camera during the day, uh, just looking at a very wide field of view out in a parking lot. Again, another general surveillance uh, application that we could see this camera being used for. Yeah, and I think what we have to highlight here is it's making, uh, as far as colors and, and um, just overall picture quality, it's doing a fantastic job, right? And, mm -hmm. it, and it's doing that. Um, and now, I mean, if you, if you put it side by side with an upper tier camera, you're going to see some quality differences and you'd expect mm -hmm. to see that. But right. I think for, for where this is placed, it does a fantastic mm -hmm. job, especially at, at, during the day with colors and set, you know, everything about it, white balance, and um, it really, I think, packs a punch and mm -hmm. um, is, is going to hold its own against some, some competition. All right, so let's see what this thing looks like at night. And I think this next scene is going to be nighttime with just our IR, which we're yep. seeing now. So you'll see in this scene, uh, just have one IR illuminator on, on one of the cameras, uh, multiple people walking around in the scene, and a couple vehicles. Uh, again, very good IR light across the whole field of view, um, and a, just making a great scene at night for something that it looks like a pretty easy scene, but out there it was, I mean, pitch black. A bunch of dummies walking to, into each other <laughs> yeah. in a black parking lot. Yeah. And I think it does a, a great job. I mean, I don't see the ghosting. I see a lot of clarity in, in the different, you know, in the shrubs here and, and even out for the, all, all of us standing out there. I think, I think um, as far as if I'm trying to identify mm -hmm. somebody or you're not going to get facial features, right? But you're going to know someone's out there. Um, and I think it does a very, very good job at having a, you know, no light condition and be able to offer that IR with two aluminum, you know, emitters. And, um, and give you a usable picture. Mm -hmm. So we'll move on to the next video, which is a little bit more conventional, uh, you know, parking lots on at night, parking lot lights on at night with these cameras. And again, multiple objects moving in the scene. We have a vehicle driving around just to show that dynamic uh, scene versus just a, a static nighttime scene. Yeah, one of the things to keep in mind is, even though this camera's making a pretty nice looking color picture. Um, what you're seeing with your eyes when you're out there is certainly not mm -hmm. as bright as what the picture that the camera's creating is. We noticed that last night as one of the guys was mentioning, we would leave the building where the, we were doing all the recording and monitoring and walk out there and you'd almost shake your head like, wow, it's a lot darker out than <laughs> what you think it is. So the, the, the um, starlight part of this camera is really, you know, stepped up a bunch on this camera. Yeah, I agree. I mean, when we were doing this, we, we'd leave the inside where all the lights were on. We'd go outside, and it was literally, you had to wait a few seconds to let your eyes adjust. Mm -hmm. It was that dark. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I agree. It was very impressive. The last scene is another outside at nighttime scene. 
This scene's just basically looking up the length of the sidewalk beside the building. Uh, we left the building lights off during this one revision of the of the video, and we did some others with some of the lights on and things like that. But um, just great, evenly lit yeah. um, scene. The camera's able to to really make a great picture. Um, you can even see at some point some of the we were walking up to the windows or the doors, and the camera would pick you up mm -hmm. just yeah. like you were mm -hmm. standing outside. It was it was pretty interesting to see that. Um, that scene and how well the, the camera performed in the dark areas over on the left through the bright areas on the right and again those windows where uh, we were coming and going in and out of the doors and stuff. Yeah and especially like in lower light applicate or, or scenes like this color reproduction I think uh -huh. can can vary right and I and I think these did a great job in, in color reproduction I mean the colors that we're seeing on that banner that Bosch banner are those colors right yeah, and, exactly. and those different objects in the scene that are that are colored or that's the color it was to even mm -hmm. our eye right and during the day right when we could actually see everything <laughs> well it even gets into again if you do have an incident that occurs uh, hey uh, any type of video is better than no video even if it's in black and white but if you're able to say yeah it's a blue shirt or it's a green shirt right. versus it's a dark shirt, uh, you know, yep. again, it gives you a lot more information than to be able to give to law enforcement or your guards or whoever than at that point, because the starlights are able to see, you know, I tell most people, you know, two to three times better than the naked eye. I know that's tough to gauge, but this shows you, you know, in a dark environment, it's able to reproduce a quality color image. Yeah, and it, it requires very to little, like yeah. little light, so to be able to do these kinds of things. It's great to do these demos and show mm -hmm. customers what these cameras are able to do. If they want to know more information about the Bosch 5100i series camera, they want a demo, they want a mm -hmm. loaner camera, how do they get that? Uh, support at midchest.com.